So most likely, what this tells us about Cornelius, that he was, was probably a very even-tempered man, very level-headed. But Scripture says that when the angel appeared to him, he stared at the angel in fear. The NLT specifically says that he was in terror. But he responds in a very respectful way, and he said, what is it, sir? Very likely he knew that there was something different about this being that just suddenly appeared before him. And so it's like, okay, there's... There's some holiness going on here. I'm in the presence of holiness. Well, Rabbi, what is, the, what is the greatest commandment to which Jesus responded? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Cornelius lived a devout life, a life characterized by acts of obedience, but these acts of obedience do not earn salvation, which is what Cornelius needed the most. You see, no one can earn salvation, not even by observing the law. Paul tells us in Romans 3, he says, for no one can ever be made right with God by doing what the law commands. The law simply shows us how sinful we are. But that is what brings us to the main point of today's message. And one of the central ideas behind Acts chapter 10 which is that God was preparing the Gentiles for salvation, and God is always preparing us as well for something. What do we do now? In light of the fact that we realize that God prepares us for things and that God is specifically preparing me for something, I don't know what that is just yet, but God is preparing me for something, what do I do now in response to that? And the truth is, is that we need to view the, the moments and the events that come up in our life from a different but better perspective. We need to look at things from God's perspective. 1 Peter 2, 2 through 3 says, like newborn babies crave spiritual, pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation now that you have tasted that the Lord is good.